Hi, it's Apple1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. Now, I have experience of smuggling, running a lot of illegal cargo in and out of stations where it's illicit cargo, and avoiding those scouts. Uh, this comes from the fact I'm a pirate, I quite regularly sell my stolen goods, and also the fact that I do a PPI a lot, where one of the main routes of attack on someone's BGS is finding someone that's got black markets in their stations and basically spamming their black markets. It really negatively affects their influence, um, as well as negative trading and positive trading for the other side. Those sort of things are a PPI staple. Uh, as part of our PPI attacks, we do tend to try and tear down people's BGSs. So quite often, going in and out of situations with illegal cargo is what I do. I often joke my lower decks of my carrier look like Zion, because they're filled full of slaves and narcotics and I do promise those slaves one day I'm going to release them by taking them to a democratic system and uh, turning them from slaves into a refugee crisis. Um, yeah, so, you know, they party hard on my carrier knowing one day that I'm just going to free them, you know, and release them upon some poor democratic uh, BGS where they can run amok and become a refugee crisis. I really wreck the influence and system security state. Um, so, you know, I oddly use a Type 7 for smuggling. I find the Type 7 to be the perfect smuggling ship. Um, now, you may think this is mad, but I've been doing this since the, well, since partway through the preview program when I first brought my Type 7. I used to do long range smuggling in this. Um, you know, I used to love those long range smuggling missions. You don't get them anymore. Uh, which is a real shame. I think because it wasn't fashion specific, car uh, mission specific cargo back then, when people could cheat the way it worked, but now it's mission specific. I think they could go back to giving us long range um, missions for doing smuggling. Because smuggling was always fun, it was always quite challenging. It was always, you know, that risk of will you get scammed by the police, won't you? Will you get pulled over by the police while you're in the system? That sort of thing. The reason I love the Type 7 for smuggling is the Type 7's flight model is beautiful. The pitch and your rates match, so it's really stupidly maneuverable, um, which defies the stats, because the stat bar says it has handling zero, but it, it, it's a beautiful flying ship. Anyone who's flown a Type 7 will tell you they handle like nothing else. They're incredibly nice to fly. Um, and basically, I will not use any stupid stealth techniques or silent running techniques to avoid scans because they generally don't work. Um, you know, if you're, if you're attacked by the police in normal space and you want to avoid a scan, to shoot them. Um, <laughs> as long as you're not by a station, you'll get a bounty, but the police will shoot you back instead of scanning you. But when you get to a station, I like the Type 7 because it works exactly like this. Boost three times, drop landing gear, slot through slot. You, you're approaching the station so quick, the police won't scan you and that sudden air break of the um, cargo, sorry, the landing gear, which shouldn't work in space, <laughs> works wonderfully at <laughs> slowing you down, and that's it, you put yourself in the blue zone. I mean, this ship handles so well, it's so easy to do this, you know, it's, it's not difficult at all. Um, I've got another example at the end of this video, but basically it's a coast. Uh, the way it flies, it just, it's just so easy. And uh, yeah, I use smuggling to really tear down uh, people's BGS when we PPI attack people. Uh, what is PPI? I hear you ask. Well, it's pirate protection insurance. It's when we make people, people pay us to not attack their BGS. Uh, it's a scam we've been running for a long time. And I was really surprised I had this much stolen cargo on board. I had a thousand slaves, but then when do I not have a thousand slaves on my carrier? Or a thousand tons of slaves? We had this, this discussion because um, it's a thousand tons of so how many how many slaves per ton like, it's, it's got to be a few I mean a lift can carry eight people so you know I'm thinking like you know eight people per ton I don't know you know it's, it's it seems like a lot of people but uh, yeah after selling my stolen goods that were on my carrier from various pirate, uh, pirate activities and PvE and PvP piracy I then proceeded to shift a load of slaves in here and uh, that sort of thing really wrecks a, you know, a 
factions, influence, and security state. Um, but ultimately, it's just a fun excuse to be able to do a bit of truck driving and uh, mess with someone's uh, BGS. Uh, in this case, actually, we're being quite heroic because this group attacked a friend of ours group and um, even though they had a supposed peace treaty, someone ignored that and they proceeded to attack their neighbors. Uh, so their neighbors contacted us and asked for help. So we came down and protected the neighbor and then they've basically gone in saying, you gotta pay us for private protection insurance so we don't attack you and promise not to attack your neighbor, otherwise we're gonna burn your BGS. You know, so in this case, we're, we're the heroic good guys. You know, we're not just criminal extortionists, but mainly we're just criminal extortionists. Um, I've also given Scumpy Doc a little bit of a Zeus up. Um, I have saved up arcs for a long, 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 long time. Uh, plus, I think I had some left over from Christmas. I think I've given an Xbox voucher at Christmas, which I turned into arcs. And um, yeah, I've brought the um, chip kit for the, or well, the different skin for my fleet carrier. Uh, I've gone with, I think it's called the Nautilus class, the one that looks more like the Event Horizon. Um, which, I'm not changing the name of my carrier to the Event Horizon because there are so many Event Horizons already in game. I have been saying for years, one Halloween they should do it, that one in a hundred um, hyperspace jumps suddenly ends up with you in like a red tunnel with all nightmarish sounds and then you turn and there's Sam Neill sat next to you with no eyes to totally freak people out it'd be awesome but anyway um, as we go back to my carrier I'll just let you have a look at the new uh, skin on my carrier and I'm going to leave you with a final example of me just coasting into the station in a relaxed fashion just boost three times drop landing gear move to the blue zone coast in land no fuss no mess no chance the police are going to scan you. Uh, if you're coming out of a station with illegal cargo, just watch the police and as they rotate around away from the slot, that's when you make your run for it. Um, but generally, it's more about delivering the cargo than it is escaping with the cargo. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this look at me coasting in and uh, let me know what you think of uh, carrier skins and the waste of arcs that I've just spent on them because it is totally pointless. But that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, they were free arts. What was going to do? Uh, enjoy this clip. Thank you.